even after nearly 20 years of its release, Battle for Middle Earth 1 is still one of the best RTS games of all time. Yes! With building spots, heroes, power points, and the fact that it is based on the Lord of the Rings makes it very unique and outstanding. As some of you might know, we are working since over a year on the patch 2.22, which is not only improving the balance of the game, but also adding brand new features to the Battle for Middle Earth. During our work, we encountered a lot of limitations in the engine and couldn't add many features we wanted. And in this video, I want to cover four of the features I really wish would be possible in BFME 1. Proper battle stances. This is a future that exists in Battle for Middle Earth 2 and also in Rise of the Witch King and adds so much fun to the gameplay and makes the overall micro but also the macro way, way easier. See, all the behavior in the stats of the units and heroes can be changed with the battle stance. Aggressive stance is increasing their damage, engage range, and sometimes even their speed while it is lowering their armor. Defensive stance makes all your units tankier in exchange of less speed and damage. This mechanic is extremely important and can change the outcome of the battle between units and heroes and also decide if your hero is going to be able to survive a situation or die. We were able to add the aggressive stance and defensive stance to the battle for middle of one, but it is by far not as advanced as it is in BFME 2 and we are only able to influence the engage range of the units and heroes but couldn't change any other stats like the armor and the speed. Battle formation is another future I would love to have in BFME 1 and I'm not talking about the wedge formation or skirmish formation of the units. I mean the ability to select the whole army pressing the left and right button on the mouse and changing the entire formation of an army. Also this future was implemented in BFME 2 but can sadly not be done in BFME 1. Proper matchmaking and servers. Yay Games abandoned all Battle for Middle Earth games back in 2010 and with that all the online servers and matchmaking got completely shut down as well. I don't know if any of you remember the times in which we could find games with one single click and climb the ladders by winning games. It was phenomenal. Nowadays, the only possible way to play is through third-party programs like Game Ranger, which of course isn't the same like having dedicated game servers. Having more difficulties in single player gaming experience. There are only three different difficulties a player can choose from. While the name of the difficulty can be changed, a fourth difficulty can't be added. We wanted to add a specific brutal difficulty for those who are looking for a challenge to BFME 1 without changing any of the existing difficulties, but it was sadly not possible. During the last 12 months, we were successfully able to improve BFME 1 with the patch 2.22, added a ton of new features to make our favorite game not only more balanced, but also more fun. We reworked the major mission in the good campaign to make it more engaging but also more challenging and, and are currently working to improve the evil campaign as well. You can download the patch 2.22 launcher from the description down below and experience Battle for Middle Earth 1 the best way currently possible. Which new features would you like to have in BFME 1 and what is your opinion about my list? Please let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you very much for watching and if this video was enjoyable for you, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. What are we waiting for? See you all next time, until then, Take care of yourself and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.